On the night he was betrayed, Jesus told his disciples he would send them a helper so they could continue the work he had begun. I like the way he put it. He didn't tell them he was sending the Holy Spirit. He told them he was sending a helper, a title that perfectly describes the role of the Spirit in our lives. Unfortunately, too many of us think of the Spirit as a type of helper you store in a broom closet until you need it. Let me make it clear. The Holy Spirit is not a vacuum cleaner, something you drag out every so often as you think you need it. The Spirit is a helper designed to guide us in life so that we do the right thing. We need to allow the Spirit to take root in our lives and grow. Grow to the point where it bears fruit. The fruit of the Spirit are the traits, the guiding forces that not only keep us on the right path, but also enable us to become more like Jesus. In the verse before today's verse, Paul lists all the forces that tend to drive so many of us because while the Spirit is willing, the flesh is often incredibly weak. These destructive practices include idolatry, strife, jealousy, anger, quarrels, dissension, factions, and envy. Sound familiar? The Holy Spirit, through its fruit, strives to help us overcome these powerful forces. One aspect of the fruit is kindness. Kindness is not just a nice thing. It's a positive, powerful force grown within us through the Holy Spirit. Kindness allows us to overcome the negative internal aspects of our lives, as I mentioned before. Look at that list again, and then consider some of the interactions you see daily on social media. It seems to me we need to cultivate more of the positive fruit in our lives, especially kindness.